Every sentence needs a finite verb. The main verb in every sentence is a finite verb. The definition of finite is something that has a limit that can't be exceeded. Non-finite verbs are not marked for tense and do not show agreement with the subject. Hi everyone. In this video, we will study finite and non-finite verbs. Finite verbs are verbs that have a subject. These are usually the main verbs of sentences and are changed according to subject. They indicate tense, person and number. The main difference between finite and non-finite verbs is that the former can act as the root of an independent clause or a full sentence while the latter cannot. See the examples for finite verbs. The shop opens sharply at 9 a.m. He wakes up early in the morning. He goes to school daily. We swam in the river for three hours. She watered the plants. We shall sing. All the colored words are finite verbs. See the last sentence. We shall sing. It's in simple future tense. When a sentence includes a model auxiliary verb like can, could, may, might, shall, should, will, would, it is finite verb in the sentence. The model auxiliary verb are considered finite verbs because they are the first verbs and immediately followed by bare infinitives. So in the last sentence, will is the finite verb and sing is bare infinitive. The most obvious finite verbs are those that come from to be verbs and to have verbs. The to be verbs are am, is, are, was, were and to have verbs has, have and had. A non-finite verb is a verb form that does not show any tense. Participles means present participles and past participles. Infinitives and gerunds are non-finite verbs in the sentences. Non-finite verb does not act like a verb but like a noun, adjective and adverb. Let's study present participle, verb plus ing or ing form. See the example here, a rolling stone gathers no moss. In this sentence, rolling describes stone. We can use words like round, smooth and so on to describe a stone. These words are all adjectives. Hence, we can see that rolling functions like an adjective in this sentence. It's in the form of verb plus ing, roll ing. Such verbs in their ing form functioning like adjectives in sentences are called present participles. See the features of present participles. They are all verbs that end in ing form. They function like adjectives in sentences. They can be used with all the tenses. Now, the past participle. See the example here. The wind swept away the fallen leaves. In this sentence, fallen describes leaves which is a noun. Thus, the past participle, like the present participle, acts an adjective. See the features. They usually end with ed or d, t or en. They, like present participle, act as adjectives. They can be used with all the tenses. Second one, infinitives as non-finites. See the examples. I advised him to see a doctor. They hoped to buy a house of their own. I saw him 
do it he made me wait for a long time in the above sentences the underlined words are called infinitives in sentences first and second the infinitive has two before it they are called two infinitives in sentences third and fourth the infinitive does not have a two before it such infinitives are called bare infinitives bare infinitives are used after auxiliaries like shall should will would may might do did can could must need and dare third one the gerunds see the examples here walking is good for your health i like going on long walks if we take the example walking is good for your health we can ask what is good for your health the answer is walking thus walking here functions like a noun at the same time it is a verb such verbs are called gerunds they are also called verbal nouns though the present participle and the gerund have the same form we should remember that present participles function like adjectives and gerunds function like nouns see the features of gerunds gerunds are non finite verbs that function like nouns they are also used to make some compound nouns like walking stick writing table etc the distinction between participles and gerunds is not always clear cut for this reason we generally avoid the term participle and gerund and use the general term verb plus ing as non finites now find out the finite and non finite verbs first one the dancing floor is shining in this sentence dancing and shining are non finite verbs and is is finite verb sonam is playing with my brother in this sentence is is finite verb and playing non finite verb i bade him come in in this sentence bade is finite and come is non finite verb it is easy to find fault with others in this sentence is is finite and to find is non finite verb i love mountain climbing in this sentence love is finite verb and climbing is non finite verb do like share and subscribe my channel thank you